Oh, pre-processing. Um, we will do a little bit of that. Will that help at all? It will save us probably forty-five dollars. Yeah. So any help is is always helpful. Sure. Yeah. I'll jump on sure. Yes. Yep. We've been very fortunate to get quite a few volunteers signing up. They're actually paid workers for the day, so that's wonderful. We've been doing lots of training. What's that? There probably will be. Hey, Kim. Yes, sir. You're going to have a few minutes for questions. Sure. Okay. Yeah, before we. Just let me know. We'll just finish this. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm totally fine. We'll finish this up and then. 
right. public viewing. Right, correct. Okay. No so. candidates can do that. Right. I'm sorry, we say that again, please. <coughs> a poll watcher deserves that process. A poll watcher cannot challenge. No, they can no, they, but they can notify if they, if they suspect something's going on. Notify they, they can, can talk to the chairperson. Oh, the chairperson. They okay. can talk to the chairperson. Okay. That's all. Um, where are the ballots stored currently? The ballots are stored here in Town Hall. Uh -huh. They are locked behind a dead bolt, and they do have cameras on them. Okay, um, so that has changed recently. Changed. Um, there were no cameras like. Uh, there, that's correct. I, yeah. I added dead bolts. I've added camera. I've okay. taken cameras. I've taken all security measures that can be taken. Right. Um, I've who, provided. Who has, a, uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I provided our workers also with a key that was issued by the state of Michigan, so that only our workers are allowed to access the system. Okay. So who has access to that room? Because they're not locked behind or in a cabinet. They're our, on... our clerk's office workers have okay. access to that. Room. No maintenance, no other. Correct. That's supervisor correct. doesn't. Police correct. chief doesn't. Correct. That's okay. correct. Okay. That is correct. Because I know the police chief has access to this building. Correct. But he does not in have this access to. In particular case, nobody else has access. Yeah. He does not have access to everything in this building. Pardon? The police chief does not have access to everything in this building. Not that room. Okay. Okay. Um, who, let's see, can anyone change their absentee ballot once it's been given to you? They can spoil it. They have to come in and sign a form. We will spoil it in the system and we will issue them a new one. Okay. And how late in the process can that happen? Up to what time on election day? Uh, let me think. It's recently changed 10 a.m. on the day before. 10 a.m. the day before. Correct. In person. In person, yes. Right. It must be in person. Thank you. And what is the deadline for registering to vote? The deadline for registering to vote. There is no deadline for registering to vote. Okay. And what about placing an absentee ballot? The absentee ballot has to be turned in by 8 p.m. So they can get an absentee Actually, if it comes through now, there was a ruling from the judge of Michigan uh, that they can be postmarked on November 2nd. We will be counting those up to 14 days after if they have a postmark date of November 2nd. Okay. That is being appealed at this time. Sure it is. So just to be on the safe side, yeah. please get everything in at 8. That's what I'm telling people. Right. To be on the safe side, if you want your ballot to be counted, please get everything in by 8 p.m. We will have people standing down by the box, both boxes here and the box out there. But you could literally get an absentee ballot on the day of the election. If you are, if it's an emergency situation and if you are unregistered voter. Okay. What if it's not an emergency situation? What's the deadline? The deadline is 10, 4, 4 o'clock on the Saturday before, is it? 4 o'clock Monday? 4 o'clock Monday. Okay. 4 o'clock Monday. And I know all this has changed. That's why I'm asking these questions. It is changing a little bit as we go. Sounds Let's like see. it still is changing. <laughs> <laughs> what a nightmare. That one has always been the same, I believe, at 4 o'clock on Monday. Yeah. That they can issue an absentee. Correct. Okay. Up until 4 o'clock. I just heard you talk about the door upstairs. It is currently open right now? Yes. Okay, and that'll be open through the election. It um, will be open on October 31st from 8 a.m. until 4 p.m. That's a Saturday before mm -hmm. the election. Okay. Um, and then a couple dumb questions. There's no dumb question. <laughs> is taking, but you are running out of time. Just I know. So you know. Is taking a picture um, illegal federally of the ballot? You can take a picture of the ballot only inside the booth. That's it. You cannot take a picture of you and the ballot. You cannot do that. You cannot display the ballot in any way. No other pictures inside the precinct can be taken. 
Interesting. inside the precinct. But this was due to Proposal 18-3, and the state of Michigan has allowed them to be able to take a picture of their ballot only. But wow. then when they post the picture, they must be 100 feet outside the door in order to post that to social media. Okay. So there's My lots other... of changes going on. Yeah. It's been a rough year, mm -hmm. to say the least. Oh, totally get it. Yeah. Yeah. The other final question, uh, I noticed that there's a voter guide in the lobby. Is right. it legal for the town hall to have voter guides? It is legal as long as it's not at the clerk's counter. As long as it's not at the clerk's counter, okay. As long as it's not at the clerk's counter, it is not at the clerk's counter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I just saw it today. The clerk's, like, I can't believe the clerk's, that's here. The clerk's office is neutral. Yeah. And that's the way we keep it. Yeah, you're Switzerland. Pardon? You're Switzerland. <laughs> I, I'm not sure what you're saying. Oh, and just for registration purposes, they can go online and register through October 19th at 5 p.m. If they miss that, they must register in person starting October 20th, if anybody was going to register to vote. Oh, so registering to vote online ends before? Ends on the 19th. Okay. Okay. Person that needs to register after that time, they must come in person to the clerk's in. office or the county clerk's office. That's all I got. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, with that, I'll make a motion to adjourn. I second it. Okay. Oh, actually, I think we have to lock this up. Sorry about that. Thanks, you guys.